day of Christmas my true love sent to me. Oh, holy birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Ho, 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 it's Jonah here again. And um, in the normal week, I'd be saying, hey, it's Supermarket Sunday, which it kind of is, but it's also the 12 beers of Christmas. Yay! So, I have got a supermarket beer, and this one is the Belgium Winter Beer. This is from M&S, and it's a small one, it's a 330. And this one is from the famous Huig. I have a love-hate relationship, because some of their beers are really nice, some of them aren't so great. But this one is uh, their dark one, dark Belgium ale. Um, it's 8%, I'm reading the back. Um, let's have a look, and this one is from Ghent, which is where Huig is based. Um, and they tell you a little bit about how Ghent is the best place in Belgium. But look at that, Marks and Spencer's brew, and it looks pretty special. It's got a bit of foil around the top, very, very nice. Label's quite nice. Um, yeah, so let's get cracking. It'll be rude not to. Now, got a nice hiss on this bad boy. We've gone back to the, uh, the naked ladies, um, just for Zippy Viking, or Zippy Pirate, or Zippy Seal. He's a Navy Seal, you know. Right, we've got a slightly different glass. You might have seen this before. If you're one of my regular viewers, you might have seen that glass before. Um, because this is only a 3.30, I thought, there's no point putting it in a, a pint glass. And it's a Belgian brew, so it's a little bit special. There we go. And you can see there, quite well carbonated, lovely, lovely Belgian head. Big old bubbles, I reckon that will go soon. It's going already. Look at that colour, deep, deep, dark colour. And 8%, this is gonna be quite strong on the old malts. Um, and for a Belgian beer, it doesn't look very cloudy. It's dark, but very clear. Not sure if you can see me through there. It's definitely got that, <coughs> sorry, that cold is still here. Sorry about that, guys. Definitely got that Belgian yeast aroma. And we're picking up a little bit of kind of lemony zest, perhaps. Kind of a, a bit of uh, coriander seed, perhaps. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Um, it's got malted barley, but... Um, no, doesn't say. This is, um, this is a unique. It's very well carbonated. Let's get cracking, shall we? Cheers from Huig Bury on um, the 12 beers of Christmas uh, Supermarket Sunday special. Try saying that after you've drunk one of these. Okay, guys. Oh, now I'm getting, I'm getting that yeasty taste, but I'm also getting something darker, dark fruity malts, maybe plums or something along that line. Very much of a, a dark sweetness. Maybe a little bit of toffee. Maybe a little touch of vanilla, but the main taste I'm getting is obviously the dark roasted malts. Oh, that, my friends, is a lovely brew. It's in a small bottle. Uh, shame, really, but you can't blame it. It's, it's kind of a a Belgian winter warmer, shall we say. Um, now, with the old dark beers, dark strong beers, <coughs> I always get, um, or I'm under the impression that we're having a kind of tenant super because of the strength. This is about 8%, but you know that dark malty taste you get with one of those super lagers or something? Um, especially the German death lagers, you get huge amounts of malt. If you were drinking something American, 
malt liquor anyone. You wouldn't get that because it's corn sugar that they put in it to get the extra, the extra alcohol, but the Germans don't do that. Um, and I think that's similar with the Belgians. They've packed this thing full of malt. Mm. So I'm guessing all the fruity esters are coming from what yeast they used. Very interesting brew and very nice too. So, from a supermarket Sunday during Xmas, what more can you do? If you're drinking along, what you need to get is the Belgium, what's it called? Belgium Winter Beer from Marks and Spencers. Um, I think this one's quite new in their range because um, I haven't seen it in there before. Try one of those out, you won't be disappointed. It's a very, very nice brew. Maybe a little bit expensive and it's in a 3.30, but at 8%, I'm not complaining. Cheers guys, we'll see you tomorrow. I guess that's gonna be on the Monday. Oh, it's getting close to New Year's. I'm happy. Cheers guys, we'll see you real soon for another exciting beer as part of the 12 beers of Christmas. Christmas Day